Elon plans to fill in the gaps by launching a low-latency, high-speed satellite internet. SpaceX has already launched over a thousand satellites for Starlink, with plans of inching into that 42,000 count in the years to come. Elon Musk is always in the headlines for one thing or another. You'd think his marketing team is doing the job right, but I think he has too many secrets to spill. Luckily, we got the inner access. We have dug deep and found a few controversial secrets surrounding the big man. Let's just say they do not make him look decent. Are you ready? Let's get to it. Number one, is Musk siding up with the government? This might not sound as bad as you think, but that's because it is much, much worse. Elon Musk has rolled the red carpet for criticism with this leak. Apparently, SpaceX is busy making a spy network for the government. Now you might think, hey, the guy's doing good for the country, but here is the problem. The specifics of the network don't sound too decent. This secret spy network will send hundreds and thousands of satellites into Earth's lower orbit. They will be equipped with high imaging resolution. Spy satellites under a classified contract with the US intelligence agency. That can get a continuous image of any person on the planet. Let me break that down for you. Since the government couldn't get an aerial image of their supposed enemies hiding in other countries, they teamed up with SpaceX to track them down faster. Like and subscribe right now and you'll have amazing luck for the rest of the week. There is no need to get permission from anyone when you have an advanced spy tech with you. To make it worse, these satellites can get running footage of anybody. They will have eyes on everyone at all times. And here's where it gets scary. Inside leaks suggest that these satellites are already in the works. Are they in space yet? Who knows? Number two, planning on meeting with aliens. Elon Musk has always been an advocate for space tourism, but did you know that he is already trying to make contact with aliens? Musk has never been shy of admitting that he wants to colonize Mars. His big plans are quite evident across his inventions. Take the Starlink hardware as an example. When the dish came out, everyone was busy testing whether the internet was worth the hype you know, like normal people. But there were others who wanted to see what was going on inside. In their efforts to rip the dish apart, the curious hunters stumbled across one very special Easter egg. The V1 Starlink dish didn't just have a circuit board. No, there was a special message inside. Printed on the circuit board that makes up the dish's antenna array were five simple words, made on Earth by humans. This is pretty interesting to find out. Does Musk plan on getting in touch with aliens? Has he already been trying? It wouldn't be a surprise if that's true. Number three, Musk might just ditch humans. Musk's big plague. Musk's big plans aren't all just wild claims. Some of them are already hardwired into his contracts. Yeah, I fished out one particular agreement from his contracts that will leave your mouth wide open. Starlink is a network of satellites that are spread out across space, fueling the devices of users with a power-running internet. But Starlink's terms of service have a pretty interesting section that's nothing short of controversial. It states that if SpaceX reaches Mars and establishes its services there, the company will have full independence from any government on Earth. Decided to step forward, wave at the gigantic crowd, and present an out-of-this-world solution to this problem. Do you know what that means? Musk is planning to rebel against Earth's governments. But wait, there's more. The section goes on to say that Mars will be a free planet and no government on Earth will have any authority over any Martian activities of SpaceX. Wow, do you see how big that is? That could change the entire course of history for people planning on going to Mars. Heck. I already see a war brewing. But what's even more interesting is what Musk plans on doing on Mars. Why does he need complete autonomy? What do you think? Number four, China, planning on a war with Musk. Musk's creative innovations have gotten the world into a bit of a tight knot. They are all worried that Musk might be the secret weapon that America has always wanted. With Starlink satellites in space, the big names around the world are starting to get a bit edgy. Plus, it doesn't help when news like upgrading the Starlink leaks out into the open. Yeah, that just happened recently. 
Researchers think in the Three Kingdoms War, I believe they lost about 70% of their population. That it is possible to reverse engineer the Starlink satellites. They can get an add-on in the form of a navigation system. The company never confirmed this, but it has gotten the rivals a bit concerned. Could Starlink be used as military assets? China isn't ready to face that news. The country's researchers have already published a paper on how they can dismantle the Starlink network in space. Trust me, you're not ready to hear what they have in mind. Apparently, they think sending a nuclear bomb into space is one of the best ideas. The Research Institute thinks that a 10 megaton bomb would be enough to get the job done. What do you think? Number five, Musk expanding to Antarctica. Musk did what nobody could. He has given internet access to Antarctica. It isn't just a hoax either. The United States Antarctic program tested the internet at McMurdo Station Research Outpost, and they were ecstatic, to say the least. Anywhere from 200 to 400 miles above the planet in low Earth orbit. Antarctica has always been a mystifying secret, with over 80 to 90% of the land unexplored. People have no clue what's up there. The high bandwidth internet could either speed things up in research with new discoveries, or it could open up a Pandora of secrets that the world is not yet ready to explore. What do you think is more likely to happen? Number six, race to the win. It is no secret that the countries are trying hard to get crowned with launching the first relaunchable space flight. But it seems that Musk has snatched the top rank. Starship is the biggest, tallest, and most powerful rocket ever built. So it is safe to say that Musk takes all the bragging rights with his fancy space toy. But that isn't the kind of flex he is after. No, he is looking for more. The man wants to be the first person to send a reusable and heavy lift launch vehicle into space and then back on the ground. What's crazy is that this fascination is very close to becoming a reality. These will help the tower be a little bit more structurally sound during lifting and catch operations. But here's where it gets interesting. Experts think that the next test flight might just check all the boxes. They believe that 2025 might just be the year we see the first reusable space vehicle in action. The funny thing is that Musk might just be on the same page. SpaceX has already developed a tower with chopsticks to capture the space vehicle once it comes back to the ground. The tower looks pretty fragile right now, but the good news is that it works. Do you think it is going to happen soon? Number seven, building the cheapest space flight. Believe it or not, Musk is planning on making it the cheapest space flight on Earth. What's crazy is that he might actually make it happen. Falcon 9 was five to 10 times smaller than Starship, but Musk promised that he would get Starship a cheaper launch. The cost for Starbase stood at a staggering $3 billion alone, and that's not including the actual vehicle. When it came to Starship, the R&D costs went skyrocketing to nearly $10 billion. The input costs are expected to be nearly $90 million. With the talk of billions, how is Musk planning on turning Starship cheaper? Here's the secret. Star Factory, the first and only space for building and assembling a Starship. This factory is expected to give three vehicles in a single year. But Musk, being Musk, wants to push that number to building three and more in one week only. This would mean bringing in more vehicles that will be in action. If a single vehicle can fly at least four times, the cost would be cut down to only $10 million per flight. If the same vehicle can get more flights done before it needs to be laid down, the cost could be even lower. Can you imagine? Musk is really working hard to dominate the space industry. Number eight, designing the revolutionary space suits. Elon Musk's latest power move is to launch a spacesuit. Now I know what you're thinking. What could he possibly do with a spacesuit? You are forgetting that he is Musk. Here's the thing. It is quite hard to stay mobile in a spacesuit, but SpaceX seems to have cracked the code. His new EV spacesuits will allow the astronauts to move more freely in space, both inside and outside the space vehicle. That's not all. The spacesuits are also tailored to fit everyone's body type. Musk wants everybody in space. 
This suit is primarily for keeping astronauts alive inside the spacecraft. And he is making every tiny effort to make it feel safe for all. The EVA suit has a 3D printed helmet with a visor that can push away the sun's glare and even offer anti-fog properties. It also has a built-in heads-up display with a camera that will work somewhat like a smartwatch. It can assess the environment and fetch useful data about the pressure, temperature, and relative humidity in space in real time. If that sounds fancy, hear this. The gloves are touch sensitive, and even their panel is a touch screen. Talk about modern, but here's the most interesting part. These spacesuits are designed by the same guy who designed the suits for Superman, Iron Man, Black Panther, Spider-Man, Captain America, and more. Would you fancy buying one? Number nine, Polaris Dawn. Polaris Dawn is the riskiest mission that Musk has started with his SpaceX program. There's a lot riding on the line and you never know what's gonna happen. The scary thing is that the jury is still out on its success, but what is this new risky mission? Five civilians are all set to go into space to do a 20 minute walk in their shiny new spacesuits. A billionaire entrepreneur, a retired military fighter pilot, and two SpaceX employees are the ones risking it all to go to space. Just to be clear, this is the point that Musk wants to make, sending people into space commercially and then bringing them back. How do you think it is going to turn out? What's fascinating is that the vehicle will go as far as 870 miles, meaning it will go far beyond where no human has gone since 1970. So, it is a big deal. Number 10, the testbed being shelved. What you see right here isn't a water tower sick of Earth and fleeing into space. No, it is a prototype of SpaceX that is quite underrated in my opinion. This is the vehicle that set the way for Starship to come into the light. Starhopper took a high leap in its successful test flight, but it was also its last. The flight lasted for a mere 57 seconds, and the vehicle blasted off nearly 60 feet into the air. That was all the ammunition SpaceX needed back then. And look what happened. Starship came into being. Recently, news has leaked that the Starhopper is still alive and well. It is in the Star Factory, and the team shifted it in the back. The good thing is that they haven't dismantled it, and that they do plan on keeping it around. But what do you think will happen to it? Will it become a space relic, or does it also have a secret contact message to aliens? Number 11. Starlink Satellites Mistaken as UFOs Here's something you probably didn't know before. You saw all those bright lights flashing in the sky a few years ago, the lights traveling at blazing speeds that people think were UFOs. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but those weren't UFOs. Apparently, Starlink has been sending a lot of satellites into space. They have flashing lights and fool people into thinking the aliens are coming to invade Earth. This is video from Marysville, so we ended up finding out that these are actually Starlink satellites. Sadly, that's not what's going on, but there's more drama. The bright lights are becoming a nuisance for the scientific experts too. The night light is needed for astronomers to look into space, and the satellites are just causing more light pollution than necessary. Scientists even signed a petition against these lights. You can imagine the fiasco that might have unraveled. Number 12, the secret robot in space. I think it is safe to say that this robot broke the internet. It all started when a lot of viewers noticed a strange robot roaming around SpaceX's drone ship. A lot of people called it a Roomba, while others were more mystical and deemed it Optimus Prime. But nobody knows what it does or what it actually is. The secret robot has been kept under the rugs by the company too. And waves don't tip the rocket off balance. Nobody wants to talk about this robot and why it is being seen on the drone ship. So. The speculations took to the internet, but there was one theory that beat them all. A lot of experts agree that it might be a self-navigating robot for Falcon 9. But if this robot takes over the job of the same crew, it could save both time and hassle. The problem is, nobody has confirmed it yet. So, the robot remains shrouded in a gripping mystery. Number 13. 
building humanoids for space. Elon Musk is always whipping up innovative ideas to startle his audience. This one isn't any different. In a recent X post, he claimed that there would be nearly 1 billion working humanoid robots in the next 20 years. But would you believe me if I said that there were some even more interesting than humanoid robots? Check this out. He went on to say that the world will see nearly 100 billion alien robots in 2060s, only 40 years from now. Provided invaluable data on Mars's surface and atmosphere. But how does that connect with Musk? Well, his company, Tesla, recently designed a humanoid robot that can very well replace humans in the future. If this happens, this will change the way we explore space. Robots could go where humans cannot even think of going, pulling off tasks that humans might not be able to do that well. It means going into space and beyond. What are you most excited to discover in space? Get ready, because that discovery might pop up sooner or later with these humanoid space robots in action. Number 14. SpaceX's Secret Weapon This is probably something that Elon Musk does not want to hear, but there might be someone better at leading his company than Musk himself. Tesla and SpaceX are two different companies that Musk owns, but Tesla seems to be failing, while SpaceX is clearly thriving. What's going on? Experts believe that the answer is simple. Musk is second in command at SpaceX, but that's not the story for Tesla. Basically, you want the capsule to get out of Dodge, you want it to get away from the rocket. There, he has taken the reins himself, calling orders and basically running the whole show solo. It isn't like Musk was thrown off of his throne. He handed the task to Gwyn Shotwell, who managed to bridge the gap between Musk's visions and practical results. But here is the real question. Is there a problem with Musk's leadership that isn't panning out that well? Or is Shotwell the real superhero behind all the good results? We will leave this one for you to answer. Number 15. Astronauts back to the moon. Since 1972, the world has not seen any man going into space. The reasons? We can only wonder. But Musk is all set to change the narrative. He believes that astronauts will go to the moon once again by the year 2026. It seems quite an ambitious statement, doesn't it? Well, Musk is a master at it. He is up in the battle against NASA, which has already started its Artemis program. But NASA isn't putting up a strong defense. Recently, their spacecraft Boeing Starliner turned rogue and returned to Earth without the astronauts. Sounds like the start of the robot uprising, doesn't it? Our empty seats will be taken by Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams on the return flight. Anyway, the mission was supposed to be for eight days, but the astronauts were stuck at the International Space Station for eight months. SpaceX hasn't quite started with the Man on Moon mission yet, but they seem to be making a secret statement. SpaceX was the company that brought back the same two astronauts, and they have also launched three crewed missions to Earth orbit in less than 12 months. Who do you think will be the first to launch Man on the Moon first in a hundred years? Number 16. Traveling to Mars or invading Mars? Elon Musk plans on colonizing Mars, and it isn't a wild hoax. You'll know why in less than a minute. More than $270 billion by Musk has been put into Mars projects. It isn't just SpaceX that's holding up the fort. No, Tesla's Cybertrucks have a design similar to what could work on the rough Mars terrain. Starlink's satellites could soon shift to the orbit of Mars, and his boring company is already working on a tunneling system for the Red Planet. And with each starship carrying between 10 to 100 times the mass to orbit, he has even asked his research team to study if it is possible for humans to reproduce on Mars. Heck, he has even donated his sperm to the cause. It is pretty clear, all of his work has one goal, to shift to Mars, and it shows. But why is it bad? We have no clue how humans invading another planet might turn out. We might find out sooner than later, though. Musk predicts that the first uncrewed starship will land on Mars within five years. To add more to the fascination, the first flight with people to go to Mars will take no more than seven years. What do you think will happen? Number 17. 
Musk's sinister plans for Mars. We all know Musk's obsession with Mars, but it seems like we will see his passion soon turn into something much more sinister. The red planet does not exactly have a habitable environment. The temperature is drastically cold, about minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It isn't a temporary thing either. The red planet is way thinner than Earth. So, even if the heat comes to Mars, it is unable to retain any heat energy. Note that Musk obviously knows this yet, all of his plans circle around colonizing Mars. Hear this, he thinks that nuking Mars might just drop the temperatures and make the planet livable for humans. But it isn't going to be a random bomb thrown into space. He claims that putting them at the right place at the poles might just be enough to crack open the ice caps and warm the planet. As crazy as it sounds, it isn't a hoax. To make it worse, he even started selling Nuki Mars t-shirts at one point. He could be joking, but was he? Number 18. All the space pollution. Elon Musk whipped up another cool device, and it is taking the world by storm. We are all quite used to hearing that. But turns out, the man is quite famous for attracting controversies too. And boy, this one isn't pretty at all. Apparently, Musk has been sending a lot of junk into space. That's not all. About hundreds of Starlink satellites will go non-operational with time. These satellites could easily take years to remove if the company ever plans on doing that. If they aren't removed, they will fall from space, scattering junk all over. Who's gonna catch those tiny flecks of garbage in space? It wasn't enough that we were worried about polluting Earth. Now, we have to worry about polluting space too. But here's a bigger problem. Can you imagine what would happen if all of this trash moved to Mars? It isn't like we have any other planet on backup to take us. Number 19. Facing lawsuits. One after another. Elon Musk is clearly in a race with himself to get that starship running. That's just one of the many tiny projects he has taken on. But only recently, SpaceX found itself in hot waters. The company opened up a new launch control room without getting approval from the Federal Aviation Administration. That's not all. The company was in such haste that they didn't bother following the necessary security protocols. They did not go on with the readiness poll that is taken two hours before liftoff. Just two hours before a launch a satellite from Florida in June of last year. But here is an important question. Is Musk too much in a hurry that he has decided to ignore the rules? Let us know in the comments. Number 20, blocking the view. It seems as if Musk is trying to dominate space, leaving little for other creative minds to wonder. Here's what happened. Starlink was already accused of causing light pollution and hindering astronomers to peek into space from Earth. But then, something even bigger happened. Instead of helping the poor researchers out, Musk seems to have taken a step further into angering them. Ever since Starlink's new network launched into space, astronomers have been complaining that the satellites are hindering their work. The massive satellites aren't just blocking their view, they are blinding the radio signals, making the astronomers scramble around in panic. They seem to be hitting a pause in their research. Right now, the number of satellites in space is a mere few thousand. Out of that number, SpaceX already has nearly 6,000 satellites in space, but the number of satellites is expected to go beyond 100,000 by the year 2030. What do you think will happen then? Musk really cannot catch a break, can he? That's all folks. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. What did you think about all these controversial secrets? Which one of these did you already know? Are there any that shocked you? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.